Greetings travellers, in this vid we'll be making this ornamental vending machine for your base. So let's start by getting a server and increasing it in size to what you would consider to be the correct size for a vending machine. Then mount a wall light on the top where we will install the beverage company signage a bit later. The four metal bars on the bottom of this wash trough will help us line up our drinks buttons. As you can see, the server already has these very conveniently etched lines, which makes it very easy for us to line up things, as much of this build is going to be free placement. So now we can go ahead and install the wall lights for the drink display lights. I would mount them a little bit higher up uh, just to leave room at the bottom for the buttons. Now for the fun part we can start selecting our labels for our different weird No Man's Sky alien beverages. Of course there's no right or wrong way to do this but you might notice on vending machines that the more popular drinks will have more than one button and the less popular will only have a single button. As you can see here, I might have built the server a little bit too small because I'm having trouble perfectly aligning the last couple of buttons on the bottom row there. So we're going to use a glitch scaled auto switch for our buttons. Um, if you're not sure how to do the universal adjacency glitch, please check the links below. I've put a link there for a video that I made explaining how to do this. This is the only glitch that we use in the build, and if you don't want to do it, then that's okay. Um, it still looks fine, even without the buttons. So now that we've made our tiny auto switch, we can duplicate it and mount them under each of the drink lights. I mounted mine with the center terminal facing upwards, uh, just because I thought it looked a bit better but as you can see, it took me a little bit of fiddling around to try to get them in the right position. So uh, yeah, just take your time and be patient and uh, make it look as neat as you want it to look. A slightly angled scaled down stone trough fits quite neatly down the bottom to catch all your delicious alien beverages. A small oscilloscope will do nicely for the payment console. All species welcome. So now let's go ahead and design our beverage company signage. And when you're happy with it, duplicate it on both sides of the vending machine. I use these tube lights to give a bit of illumination to the signage on the sides. And a couple of fans to keep your grabberry soda nice and chilled. So let's go ahead now and wire up our switches. We want to mount the wire to the front terminal and the top terminal of the switches you want turned green. Of course, leave a couple red just to give the idea that some of the drinks have sold out. This can be a little bit of a nightmare because of the size of the terminals and how close they are together. But, um, it's not really powering anything, so just keep connecting wires until they turn green. Okay, so we're almost done now. 
all we need to do is to provide somewhere to put your empties because of course even in No Man's Sky we should recycle. The insulated flasks are probably the closest thing we have to a bottle or a can and as you can see here you can have a bit of fun with putting the decals directly onto the cans for their labels. So there we are, why not add a little bit of colour to your base with this ornamental vending machine. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you later.